What's up guys, welcome back to the Botanical Garden episode 9. Is reincarnation real? Probably not. Uh, hit the follow button. Make sure you didn't like it. See ya! Dude, a lot of people think that reincarnation and, st reincarnation and stuff as animals are facts. So, like, how do we know? Like, you talk no, into this. It's tough, but like also like there's just certain instances where it it's kind of insane. Like, um, this old man. Like I know there's stories of this. Like this old man, uh, lost his wife, and then got a got a dog, and the dog like goes and sits in her chair or something. You know stuff like that, bro. Yeah, there's another one too. Um, so there's this girl, and she had a a grandma, and um, this girl was gonna go on this crazy journey. But she always remembered her grandma said like, um, when I, when I die, I want to reincarnate as a stingray. And then on this girl's journey, she actually saw like it's video documentation. She saw like this huge illuminescent stingray go underneath her. Oh wait, never, that was Moana. Never mind. <laughs> Welcome to the Botanical Garden. To ensure nourishment to the saplings, make sure you spread your seed. What is going on, you guys? Oh, we gotta wake the crap up. Wake up! Do what to? Do what to? How bad did you cringe last last uh, Red, podcast? Leather, yellow leather. When you listened Red to it, leather. um, I didn't. Dude, I thought it was hilarious. I think it's just because I was telling people before I watched it and before they watched it, and I was like, "Listen, am I just? I might just be like self-critical with like watching myself and listening to myself." Yeah, but. I'm just so embarrassed from the last podcast. <laughs> I mean, I, you were a little slizzard. I just kept on. <laughs> and I was just like, I was just like, Kevin, shut up. Stop. I was just going no, on and on. Was, yeah, that part's self-critical, but just the, <laughs> the conversation. Yeah. I thought it was it awesome, too, how you were like subtly laughing at me and I didn't even notice during the podcast. Yes, yeah. But yes, I, I was laughing I, at you a yeah. lot. Yeah. But then the whole time afterwards I I was dying cuz you were just laughing. At the time I had no idea why, but <laughs> Oh, it's cuz I was watching you. It's watching you. Yeah, it was uh definitely a change of pace. So I'll have to those are, they they can happen again. They should yeah. just be a little few and far between. Yeah. So what's what's up? How's your week been? Oh, um, well, yeah, you go first. Okay. Um, like, what, what, what you got going on? What's coming up? What was like the highlight of your week? Um. Okay. So, work wise, I'm doing. I don't know. It's been a lot less at my desk. A lot more, kind of moving around and putting stuff together. We have a lot of stuff that has to get out to. Um, customers and stuff like soon so I'm I've been I always tell uh, the person that sits next to me I'm like I'm producing today man because I'm in production okay you'd be producing out there so I, I just well, been, okay so I'd be producing. do you do you prefer producing or like sitting at a desk like what what do you enjoy more um I definitely think if you're like out up on your feet and stuff like that for at least a part of the day, the day goes by a lot faster. Yes. Whereas if you if you're stuck at your desk all day, it it kind of seems to drag. So I don't know. Well, that's not always the case because like if you're like constantly busy at your desk, the day certainly fly by like flies by. Like if you're having to if you're checking the clock uh, repetitively, then it it definitely feels a lot longer. Yeah, it totally depends on. It's kind of like the white collar, blue collar kind of. Yeah. Like if you prefer to be on your feet and working and hands on, I bet you would enjoy that more than sitting at a desk. True. Like I, I had to make that 
transition. And it was it was tough at first because like I was working on my feet, you know, eight hours a day rather than sitting at a desk. And then, you know, within two or three days, I'm sitting at a desk for a majority of my time there. Mm -hmm. And it was definitely. It's definitely a change. uh, That I didn't think I was going to enjoy at first. Just because I, I like being on the move, like having that purposeful walk and like determination to like get something done in the most efficient way possible. Yeah. Uh, and and at first I didn't see that sitting behind a desk. Like, how can you be efficient just sitting there mm-hmm. doing? And so so learn having to learn how to be, because um, like sitting at a desk, like you have the internet there just like at your fingertips yeah yeah so like you could literally look up espn or or the weather or just like little stupid stuff to to look at while you're huh to distract you or to like yeah yeah like to distract you yeah like keeps you off task but Mm -hmm. you can also be efficient and you know working with purpose sitting behind a desk for me if it's like um, if I am at my desk all day, for me, if I have like a task that is like fresh, it's like new, I'm learning about like I just learned how like what this customer needs and I need to come mm-hmm. up with a way to make it work, like whether it be a design project or whatever. That's when I'm like, it's just so fun because it's like the early process of like brainstorming and like making initial designs and stuff. And that's when yeah. I kind of get once you get kind of in the zone. You look back yeah, so, up and it's like, damn, it's noon already, you know? So is are there instances where you work on something that somebody's already kind of like drawn up and thought of? Yeah, And then the you time. just kind of come in. To, okay. So do you think that you're more into the fresh part of the project because you have more influence on it as to what it can become and like what oh, it is? for sure. Yeah, but there a lot of the times though, like right now I'm, I've been working on something that it used to be, it was like a a system we designed like three years ago and Mm -hmm. it's just, it's like resurfacing right now. And, uh, now all these things need changed. And so, so like when, when I, like when something comes to me that already exists, there's still a really, really high chance that there's going to be a lot of things that, are going to be fresh with it. Like I'm going to be able to, they're like, yeah, we did this, but it had issues like this and this. And like, we need to get that. We need to fix that and or figure out a way, you know, cause like, I think standards are strict, more strict, like as time goes on. And so like maybe the specifications for like what was, what was required back then, um, have changed to where now, the specifications of like what's required is like a lot more because you know. Okay. I just want to stop you there. So take that quote or like that two sentences you just said about standards and specifications. Do you think that applies to people's dating life? Like now? Oh, so like, just take, just take what you said. And like, even if like you're listening now, rewind it, listen to what he said, but have the, you know, have the context of, yeah, have the same thought. Like be uh, of dating, so like you said back then, the standards, like the specifications required, was not as high, was not as right. needed, right? Which is so true, like in your high school, yeah, early college days, and then as time goes on, as you get older, the do the specifications become more required or less? Like, does it? Oh, uh, that's funny. So I think for some people. And I guess I'm not the best person to ask about this. <laughs> yeah, that's so true. But I'm just saying like in general. Yeah, I think for some people, yes. But then for other people that, especially people that are approaching their 30s, it mm-hmm. may be no. Because I think a lot of people that are single, older, like probably five to seven years at least older than like us. But like mm-hmm. people that are approaching that time where they feel like required almost to like start their lives. I feel yeah. like people's standards do like start to kind of drop because they just want to get the start ball getting going. desperate. Yeah, they want to get the ball rolling and it doesn't matter how or who with. And but yeah, I think as far as like our age now versus like high school, 
Yeah. Versus, I mean, all right, because like 25 versus five years ago, you think like the specifications and the standards needed are much higher now than back then. For sure. Because I think you, in, in between when we were 20 and now, we know so much more about ourselves. Um, and like you what just, we want. And, and, what, and what you want. And, you know, you're like when you're 20, you're still, you still haven't quite figured out like yourself and who you Hell, people, people yeah. our age still haven't figured it out, you know? So like, yeah, but then also like people like back five years ago, people are still getting married. Like they've already found. Yeah. Yeah. That. Like some people still get married at like very early. Mm hmm. I don't That's know. It's just an interesting thought. Uh, Cause it definitely, yep. do you think that's more true in women or men? Is like as specifications as to what's required to be your ideal partner. Do you think women have a longer list or men? I think women have a longer list. I think a lot of the times men, uh, <laughs> they get initially really drawn to looks and then it either works out based on who she is or it doesn't work out. But at least I think they would say yes initially, whereas girls, it may be harder for them to say yes initially because they want to make sure that all their like boxes are checked before even saying yes. Yeah, is I that, don't know. Because is that I don't how know how you every, feel or no? Every person's every person's different. Yeah, we're generalizing big so time. It's here. very generalized topic, but I think you're right as in women have a longer list. But I don't think it's by much. I don't think it's as, as long, much longer than. I Yeah, uh, I'm not a team. single 25 year old guy. And so maybe I'm way off. But I would assume if I was single and I was on Tinder or whatever, and I saw a girl and she was like smoking yeah. hot, I'd be like, yeah, I'll give it a chance, you know? See, whereas maybe a girl uh, would like see a guy who's like, oh, he's really cute. But then see like in the bio, like he's big into like monster trucks. She'd be like, <laughs> absolutely not. <laughs> right. And if that's not her thing, she's out yeah, immediately. Yeah. Yeah. I don't know. For me personally, at this point in life, uh, like I'm being very picky yeah. as opposed to being desperate. Um, And I don't know if that'll change like dramatically in like say a year or two, mm -hmm. like whenever I start to edge into that age range of desperate, <laughs> it's like, I mean, I'm not desperate now Yeah. or else I, you know, I'd go find the first person that matched me on Tinder. Right. Even though I'm not, I'm not on Tinder. Cause I think that's, I think the whole online dating scene is kind of like, I, it depends on where you live. Ultimately, like if you mm. live in a small town in Decatur, then you probably already know half the people that are popping up there. Yeah, Which, that's true. That's not true, but I don't know. I feel like it's, uh, I don't know. I've seen it work for some people very well, and I've also yeah. seen it not work for people. It goes the same way with know. just meeting people in public. <laughs> it might work. It yeah, may not. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> That's true. The thing about online dating, though, is like I hate, I hate the like I I'd rather get to know you before we go on a date, and like that's just how? like a lot of <laughs> how are you supposed to get to know somebody yeah. through a phone screen? Yeah, exactly. I agree. Like if you want to do that, like it's it's just like okay, what are you, you going to send me a list of like twenty questions? Like what are your aspirations in life? What's your favorite color? What are you allergic to any food? Like how personal is this it's get to nothing. know like, yeah, yeah who determines how well you know me <clears throat> is uh, like enough to go on a date like i'd rather just like almost go on a not in, like a blind but not blind date mm -hmm. just like so you can experience someone's personality face to face right and if it's like absolutely atrocious at least you got a free meal out of it yeah, and maybe like learn something about yourself that you like or didn't like or want want in a person. I'm yawning. What the frick, dude? Wake up, dude. You know what I think is really funny? Sorry, random. I think it's super funny. Um, when babies fall downstairs. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, oh, 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 
Yeah, dogs farting. No, um, dogs fart. Well, that I mean that that's funny. Too. Yeah, they yeah. are. What's um, funny? I think it's funny when people that clearly have really bad language that they use a lot use words that are like like heck and crap. Oh, like censoring themselves. Yeah, but like purposely to make fun of it. So I think um, I'm gonna start. I I don't really know if that makes sense. I'm sorry. No, it does. Like so, someone that's notorious for. So like say Nick Coletti. Say say like Nick Coletti. He has no real filter. Who's that? Uh, he's the saw dude guy, the comedian from Vine. He like hung out with Getter. Come on, you don't know who Nick Coletti is. <laughs> no, and I doubt. He, wa- he like he comes through the front of the barn and like it's smoke coming out. And he's like, I saw, dude. No. How do you, how do you spell his name? Uh, Nick C O L L E T T I. I might be. Okay. I might have butchered he that. Is. He'll come up. Oh, okay. Yeah. yeah. So I used to the be guy from Vine. Yeah. I saw, dude. I used to like really like watch every single video. I mean, I don't even know if he still makes videos now, but I was a big fan of him. And He's on he, tour. he has no filter, but he was really good friends with Getter, who's like a pretty renowned uh, uh, electronic artist. He does like crap okay. music, but um, they would do these uh, these like vods on YouTube, and they, you, they clearly have no filter at all. Like super, mm-hmm. like they're the they're the people that are just super obnoxious in public that are like saying stupid shit out loud. And anyway, they. They say like, "What the crap," and like stuff like that, and it's just really funny. I don't know. That was the first. That was the first uh, example I thought of when I was talking about how this also kind of stems from. So I have a, a really good guy I work with, who is um, has a mature vocabulary. Okay. And um, there have been times where. He's like told me at work, like, hey man, like you, you shouldn't say that. Like that's not Oh. And I respect it, but I was like, damn, like I didn't actually <laughs> I was like, okay, I'll, when I'm around you, I will like make it noted to like do better. But I'm like, maybe there's a good way to do this to where it's funny for people who do curse, but it's also safe for people that don't. To where I use like yeah. crap like and stuff using, all the time. Yeah, like using using the past tense of shit. It's past like chat. Tense? Yeah. Yeah. So like yeah. is chat a bad word? Is that like because it no. derived from shit? Like no, I don't think it's so. Like, okay, yeah. So if you like get up and you're like, I'll be right back, guys. I gotta go take a fat chat. <laughs> like would he <laughs> would he Go take a fat, fat shot. So, have you have you ever heard your parents swear? Like, because obviously you watch your tongue in front of your parents. Yeah, yeah. Um, have you ever heard I've, them? Curse? I've heard my mom curse <laughs> a couple times. Growing up, no, they were really good about yeah, like staying clean language wise. But I just remember my sister growing up. I don't know what it was that she was like youngest daughter or what, but like she just didn't care, had no filter around. She would uh, she would cuss in front of your parents. Yeah, like a sailor, and I I'm just like the oldest, and I'm just like the you know the son, and life was harder for me, obviously, and I growing up I would have never done that. So right, well even now do you still even now no I I would maybe say like shit or. Like, yeah, I, I wouldn't like, drop I'm any hard that. sort of like super bad words. See, the funny thing is, uh, like growing up, my mom really didn't swear as much. My dad didn't at home. Mm-hmm. Very, very rarely. But like if we were out at like baseball or yeah. something uh, like on the ride home, he'd maybe <laughs> drop a few. Uh, and that's like how you would know he was like you were yeah. getting yelled at or like getting he was getting on to me. Yeah. Uh, but it, but like after, I'd say like after I graduated high school, it's like all right, he's graduated high school. We can say whatever the hell we want. Mm-hmm. And like now, 
especially at work my dad is like he cusses like a sailor at work yeah like a legit like he's on the boat <laughs> <laughs> he's like these fucking idiots <laughs> i'm like what yeah. and so even now like uh like i'll even pause like when i'm talking to because i only cuss uh talking to my dad not okay. like to him i'm not cussing at him mm -hmm. but like about something it's the only time i'll drop a swear word uh I'll, i won't cuss at my mom or my sisters maybe maybe my not the youngest but you know the uh the other sister no i we cut, I mean, I talk to her just like I would anybody else, but right at work, my dad's he cusses a lot. I'm like, should you really be saying all that? But yeah. even now, like, if I cuss at him, like, I'll I'll still pause and like, like after or before, before. Oh, because like, it's like what comes to mind. Like my sentence is already in my head, and then like I'll be like, yeah, Yo, it's just been a bunch of uh, bull uh, shit, bullshit. Yeah. <laughs> so it's definitely interesting because i know i know some people grew up and their parents probably swore like a lot or like didn't change how they talked in front of their kids yeah but at um, the end of the day i think we've had this conversation before just swear words derived from the blair witch project exactly and i mean you can hardly blame us because it wasn't us that did it it was them so it was them yeah so we're all cursed but right. I, our words are, are weird. <clears throat> words are weird. So, um, talking about my week. Yesterday, I... Uh, what am I doing this? Mm. Yeah, dude. Yesterday! Love you too, bro. Yeah. Okay. Um, I was supposed to actually go to hit uh, golf balls with a friend on a simulator. And that didn't end up working yeah. out because I had these dinner plans I didn't know about. And that dinner, the, the dinner, it turns out I had to grill hot dogs and hamburgers for a bunch of people I had never met, which is sick. Mm -hmm. So we went back to my old apartment and uh, there was a couple that I've, I've met like once or twice. The dude I knew nothing about. Um, I just knew Rachel and this girl were pretty good friends. And um, so anyway, I, I was like for it, whatever. So I, I did the grill out, whatever. And apparently, every Wednesday night, they go and do a bocce ball league league, excuse me, with a bunch yeah. of old with a bunch of old people. But apparently it's like so fun and so competitive. And so there's this little turf area, outdoor area at my old apartment, and they brought their bocce ball shit. And I had never I I'd, I'd never played. I'd played like croquet or whatever, like the little yeah, the little hammer With the hoops. Yeah, same kind of concept. And for those who don't know about either, so uh, I'll go over the ground rules real quick. Um, so there are, um, let's see, four balls, usually four red balls and four green balls, and there's one white ball that looks kind of like a little bit smaller than a cue ball, but they're all solid balls, like they're hard. Right. So, yeah. um, just like holding hard balls. Yeah. Just hard succulent. Um, so anyway, one person throws the white ball and then basically wherever that lands, as long as it's like fair game, it's, it's far enough, but not too far away from the people. It's almost like cornhole where there's like two teams on, or like the teams are on one side and you roll a ball, and whoever gets closest to that white ball gets points. And so you know yeah. how it, you know how in cornhole, um, like points cancel almost. Yeah. Okay, so it's kind of the same for this game. So if I'm closest to the white ball, um, and I have three of the other balls are also pretty close, but there's a the enemy's ball or the opponent's ball is the second closest ball, then we only get one because uh, the rest are canceled out. So if we got all four balls uh, close to the cue ball, I'll call it right now, and the other team didn't ha even have one of them inside all four of them, then we would get mm -hmm. a four points. And I think that's called a, a bocce. Uh, bocce! It's like Yahtzee. It, yeah, Yahtzee. Yeah, you played a 12, 
and uh, no win by two. It's just um, whoever gets there first. Yeah. So that so it's I had like, it's like I, curling. It's like curling on land, except for you. Yeah. Don't yeah, but I don't remember for curling. I don't remember. Um, because like you can bump the other team's ball out of the right. Way, right. Yes. Yeah. You can even bump the cue ball or whatever. Oh. You can like yeah. Um. In curling, I guess it doesn't really matter, but I don't think points cancel. They may. No, I don't think so. But okay. Anyway, um, it's just I, very similar. Yeah, it is. It is. I had a lot of fun. It's it's a lot harder to, with how hard like the density of the balls that you have to roll, it's actually really hard to get the distance right. Um, That's true. Real quick, um, we've been on TV time this whole time, and there's just this dude on the screen staring at us. Oh my um, gosh! So. <laughs> Dude, um, you, I bet everyone's wondering, like, what the heck is, is on the screen? Classic. Nice. nice. Nice, dude. Yeah. I bet they were like, when are they going to, when are they going to mention this? Yeah. Well, shoot, since we already mentioned it. Since he, he since he's been on the screen the whole time. Uh, yeah. So I know, we, I know we were talking about. Uh, Andrew Tate a little bit last week mm. for the drunk pod, and yeah, I heard we did. I heard about um, him being banned from social media or something like that. Yeah. So you what heard happened that there? I told you. Well, I saw it on. I saw he was banned on Twitter, but then you had oh. said you had said yeah he was it. yeah he got booted from Facebook, YouTube, TikTok, like all the major social media. Because of his ma- misogynistic comments. Oh. Which, so, I do not know every video that he's posted. Right. Obviously, you don't either. And I don't think the general majority of people have, like, seen everything that he's posted. But yeah, um, it kind of goes back to what we talked about with... Uh, like context, like how you can take a 10 second clip from like an hour video. And then that just kind of completely derails that person. If it's like shown in a negative light. Mm-hmm. And so I think a little bit of that was happening. Uh, yeah. Like he may have said a misogynistic comment and then he kind of redacts himself, you know, in the next five to 10 sentences, but you only see the first one that makes whatever he right. said look bad. Right. So I don't know if that was happening or if it was like, like 30% of what he's talking about is misogynistic. And then the other 70 is just whatever the fuck he wants to talk about. Um, but regardless, he got booted because of those comments. And uh, really it was this group uh, called hope, not hate, okay. which is like an anti anti racism, like group oh. that was like, that was reaching out to all these social media companies and was like, Hey, get them off. Like, we don't like this. Um, like some teachers were like that he's coming up in our classrooms as like topics of conversation, uh, and like kids were acting out in certain ways that were reflecting what he was saying. Yeah. Or like just his name was coming up in classrooms. So a mm-hmm. lot of, I guess a lot of teachers are in this hope not hate group. I've never yeah. really heard of them until now, but, uh, I guess just the way which is almost kind of scary, just like the fact that he blew up so fast and then he just kind of gets shut out and kind of like mm-hmm. shunned just because of what he said. Because uh, like I guarantee that there's just people on the internet saying the exact same thing. Yeah, this is uh, not like, the, he's not doing anything not fr- new here. Like Right, but it, it's just been... the fact that the spotlight got put on him and it's... It's kind of scary as like as far as the freedom of speech like aspect goes. Yeah, that is like, kind of crazy. Like I wonder how many people on TikTok or Twitter or whatever are speaking their minds or their opinions on politics or you know current events of the world and are just getting kind of like shadow banned or getting the ban like the full ban just because some moderator saw what they said and didn't like it or yeah. But I guess I guess the loophole 
this is just a speculation. Like the loophole of the freedom of speech target is like all these social media apps have community guidelines and stuff. Mm -hmm. So technically they can censor what they want to see. Right. Or like what they want to show on their platform. So I guess that's like a loophole. You can't really sue TikTok or Twitter for freedom of speech violations because I'm sure in their little fine print terms and services, the thing that nobody ever reads, I'm sure it's in there. Yeah. But yeah, so he got he got the boot. And I mean, it's definitely not the first time on his uh, on Twitter that he's been booted. But, he, you know, he's not British. <laughs> he was born uh, in Chicago. Oh, really? Yeah. And then he um, he was like a kickboxer. Well, so he was born in Chicago, but he was he's like a he was a kickboxer, but he was fighting in like the UK and stuff. Mm. Um, so I guess that's how he got his little accent. So I had a couple people after that episode say like, you just kept complaining and you didn't actually explain like why. And I was like, well, for one, I was drunk and just, well, in- okay. Well, he, do you want a quote? Yeah. From I do. One of his like videos. <clears throat> yeah. Cause I think um, they, we were just, I was just whining and complaining about, uh, it's absurd. <laughs> I just kept right. saying that. Okay. Well, one of his <laughs> one of his quotes or his comments was like, "Women are the property of men." Yeah. It's like they're given to the man and they belong to the man. End quote. Yeah. So like that's he's he was stating that women are property, and like you could twist that in many different ways, but and and like in a certain way though he's kind of right. <laughs> like, <laughs> No, 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 Let me finish, damn it. See, they're going to clip that, Clay. (laughs) Yeah, you're right. We're done. See ya. Okay, no, I'm I'm uh, interested to how you're going to In a wedding, in a wedding, the bride's dad gives away her to the the man. So, Mm -hmm. like, in that, through that lens, he's right. But uh, is property, like, uh, I don't know. And like it kind of goes to the like what is the definition of chivalry? My hair is not it right now, dude. Damn. So like chivalry is like when a man like kind of courts a woman or like mm-hmm. you know, like shows gratitude and respect to a woman. But I don't I don't see how like prop No, women anyway. are in a healthy relationship that shouldn't be one serves the other it should be Serve harmonious yeah. yeah um so i actually found a it's it's on tiktok and it is kind of a cringy tiktok but it is he prob- just like mocking him it probably is the best uh so it is goofy it's supposed to be you know um a satire but he does a really really he actually does a really good job of impersonating um andrew tate so I figured we'd watch it. That's the face that's been up on the... That's the face that we've been seeing? Yeah. All right, so this is, let's see, um, Bowmanizer? Bowmanizer? I don't know. Anyway, let's just hear Bowmanizer? Okay. Hey, Andrew Tate, I've been constipated lately, and I'm wondering what should I do? You're not constipated. Constipation is weak. Men are not weak. Men are strong. Constipation is a femme-centric mindset used to control men and their bowels. You sound like a constipated dork. I've never been constipated a day in my life. There's no purpose for constipation. I am a man with divine purpose. I am the upper echelon of man. You're a constipated lowlife. Constipation is for yucky, smelly, stinky little girls. Unpotty trained, ugly women. Women are Frankenstein fecal matter. Women are yucky, smelly, poopoo, caca, pebble shits. Women are nothing compared to the strong, stealthy fortitude of male manhood. If, Anyways. If there that was... Is, that's like kind of how he talks though. Like, yeah. He's pretty so, spot on. Yeah, there was a comment, um, the rant that immediately follows any question. And I was like, that's actually so true. Like, if you hear him in interviews, he, he kind of goes that route. Kind of like, I thought how that guy... Uh, I think the it. guy nailed him. In <laughs> yeah. Like, especially like any question, even though it's about constipation, it just automatically gets turned into men versus women. Yeah. Kind of deal. And I guess that's just like, 
But the fact that it got so popular and that like kids were talking about it, that's I guess what rubbed everybody the wrong way. If he would have just like say he blew up as in like a hundred thousand followers rather than a million, yeah. like would it really be talked about as much? Probably not. Or would it just kind of hit the algorithm of the people that think like that? You know what it kind of reminds me of? And I was telling people about this when it all first blew up. Um, it kind of reminds me of Dr. Disrespect. But obviously... Okay, so this is why this is why I, I say this. So Dr. Disrespe- Disrespect puts on a persona, a fake persona, that, right, a character. that he turns into... It's like if... If you were to take everything he says seriously, um, you would be like, who, who is this guy and why does he think he can say that? Like, that's ridiculous. But everyone knows it's for fun. Satire. And, and it, yeah, yeah, exactly. It's a, he, he's, it's a character that he's playing. That's not really him. And so, yeah, right. And so genuinely, when I heard Andrew Tate talk the first time, I genuinely thought what he was saying was so absurd that it was all a satire. And he was like, just make like he was saying it to get people's attention, but then at the end of the day, everybody knew that he was just kidding. It was, I was like, yeah. And then I talked to my friends. I'm like, he's not like that's actually him. Like he's not kidding. And mm-hmm. I was like, I was like, oh my gosh, that's the only reason I I say it kind of reminds me of. It's almost like Doctor Disrespect aims to, uh, <laughs> to pretend to be Andrew Tate. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. It's um yeah Andrew Tate's he'll be forgotten about in two weeks because he won't be circling through the media yeah but apparently a, a few of his uh, ex girlfriends have came to his defense too yeah I I wouldn't be surprised if like allegations came out just because people were sick of seeing him and just wanted a reason to get him out that's true yeah yeah but I don't know I I don't I'm not in the loop enough. While we're still on the TV time, um, okay. Oh, God. So, have you watched this? Um, no. Okay. All right. Let's watch it. It's, it, may, it was really funny. What? Okay. My pronouns are he, not him. Because I'll never be him. <laughs> My Yo, he's he. getting it. Yo, okay. So, that was on, obviously hilarious. Like, yeah, that's just a good little chuckle. Yeah, but when I was thinking about it, I was like, how on earth does that baby know how to throw it back like that? That's just from from the past life. <laughs> Whoever that person was prior just had a <laughs> was a was a stripper. <laughs> that's what I that's what I'd like to think. But something tells me that that kid is that kid had been watching his mama. He's been watching something. Like <laughs> either that or I don't know. Like either, what either it's a little I- iPad kid. He like what ethnicity do you think that kid is? Ah, it looks like well, he kind of looks like Indian, maybe like Middle yeah. Eastern. Also, why is or, there a why is there someone in the military right next to yeah, him? Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Like, <laughs> um, yo, because have you seen on TikTok all these uh kind of like Indian dances going yeah, on like at weddings true. and stuff. That's true. Maybe like, I think their, their maybe, dance culture is sick. In it my is, opinion. I it think is. it's so visually appealing. Um, you know what? Maybe those, maybe there's military there because we need to protect him at all costs. No, no, he's getting arrested for throwing that thing around. <laughs> <laughs> it's unsafe. Yeah. <laughs> okay. This is uh, McDojo life, all right? Okay. <laughs> all right. Very light touch, just one gram of pressure. Because it's correct, not because it's light. Light is just oh, light. Is he? Or, he's so powerful, oh, he crushes me. I use, not light, I use heavy. I use Whoa. heavy. Very heavy. Or very light. I use very slow. Was he just hitting very pressure slow. points? Doesn't matter how fast he wants to move. I I, I use slow. Or I use very I mean, fast. Change. Not light, not heavy, not fast, not slow. 
very clearly it's he's a, been correct. He's a paid actor. Not incorrect. This reminds me immediately of the training, like the karate dojo from Napoleon Dynamite. Yeah. <laughs> so, <laughs> also, have you seen the videos of like, oh, I forget their name, but they're hilarious. Um, it's like, um, police task force, and they're like, what to do if you're gonna get robbed, and like they're in a, they're in like a little training room, and they do some like ridiculous maneuver where they they take this guy's gun away from that from them, and then like pin uh-huh. them to the ground, and they make they make it seem like so, so easy. easy to do. Almost every time in those videos, the the person that's getting disarmed is like similar to this fucking simp in the left corner where they they just like <laughs> He's I mean, a paid actor. Can you seriously expect me to believe that the man sitting down with one gram of pressure is pushing this guy across the room? <laughs> and Very then to, to all all the people that are sitting down, how do you watch this and like not laugh? Like not like seriously just, well, it's just the fact that there's a couch in like a ballet studio. <laughs> <laughs> this dude, <laughs> like Yo, this but mad I... scientist of karate, is sitting on a couch, like barely. His ass is hanging off. But like, this guy, I this guy, I think is so serious. Oh, right? absolutely. Yeah. I just he just studied pressure points, and and just ran with it like because that's what he's doing he's grabbing pressure points like on his wrist and and on his elbow i guess i don't even i would be surprised if they even are pressure points or i mean i don't know just like certain places to press that would i don't know i bet he obviously it doesn't work (laughs) he gets it would not work in a real life scenario he gets into his car after this class and he's like ah another day of me being a total badass and he goes home and he just... <laughs> or do you think he like walks down the street like just... I wish somebody would fucking test me right now. <laughs> <laughs> or like he goes... Like there's a bar yeah. fight and he's the one... He's like, watch this. Light touch. <laughs> just God. stops it. Light touch. Light. Light touch. Very heavy. Not incorrect. Never incorrect. Always and correct. Then fast. And then Fast. And then the dude. If that was a paid course, they they just got robbed. I love making fun of people that take their, they they take something so ridiculous so seriously. Like the <laughs> you know what comes to mind? What the people? Like, have you seen My Strange Addiction? Yeah. Like the people that are in love with balloons, like to the extreme. Oh, I haven't seen that it, one. It's just like an example of one. Oh, they, okay, yeah. People are like just so overly obsessed with balloons. <laughs> yeah. That they become like aroused and stuff too. Yeah. It's just like, how are you that into balloons? <laughs> or just like anything. Like that, some, like I know there's one where it's like a grown ass man. He just loves to be a baby. Like built an adult high chair and, and everything. Or people that are in love with uh, stuffed animals. Do you remember the, the viral guy? Um... He says, like, in all ways except physical, I am a wolf. I am a wolf. <laughs> wolf. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, like, how do you get to that point? Like, is that, like, a, is that come from, like, a childhood trauma thing? That... Or do they just genuinely believe, like, in a, like, extra, I, I don't know, like, in a universe way that they're connected to wolves? I think it could be just, like, Is like... that delusion? I think that it could also be a lack of attention, and they're desperately oh, I, trying I to get saw attention. An interview. And... I saw an interview where these people, this, these two people are a couple, and they they genuinely think that they are from a superhero world, that they were superheroes in the past. Oh man! Like like May like Magneto. Like they this person thought that sh- that they were Magneto in a past life. Oh and that they, they've experienced these like so realistic dreams of them experiencing past life together and stuff and like like what are you on dude a lot of people think that reincarnation and st- reincarnation and stuff as animals are facts not cap so like, how do we know like you talk no, it's, the... it's tough but like also <laughs> like there's just certain instances where it it's kind of insane like um this old man like i know there's stories of this like this old man uh lost his wife 
and then got a got a dog and the dog like goes and sits in her chair or something you know stuff like that yeah like that stuff happens and it's very real um yeah. so like is that an example of reincarnation or is it like a a divine kind of uh yeah. event that like occurs where it's like hey this oh. dog was for you bro yeah there's another one too um so there's this girl and she had a a grandma and um this girl was gonna go on this crazy journey and but she always remembered her grandma said like um when i when i die i want to reincarnate as a stingray and then on this girl's journey she actually saw like it's video documentation she saw like this huge illuminescent stingray go underneath her Oh wait, never, that was Moana. Never mind. <laughs> That's so stupid. <laughs> oh, sorry, That's dude. Stupid. I thought you were gonna pick up on it, man. That's so stupid. <laughs> Did I have you for a second? Oh yeah, like, but the whole time you were saying it, I was like, this is some like Disney bullshit. <laughs> sure enough, it's Disney. Can we get this guy off the screen though? Damn, this is the second time, man. This guy needs to get out of here. Uh, Actually, what I can away, heavy. what I can do is I'm not even gonna say it. I'm just gonna introduce it right here. Bam! This is not a drill, folks. McDonald's spicy nuggets are coming to McDonald's. It says bringing back. I know. Apparently, it used to be a. Th- when like a, I don't know. Like in our lifetime, have they had spicy nugs, dude? I feel like it's gonna be awful. I, they could be. Well, they're kind of hard to mess up, I feel like. Well, I just McDonald's chicken nuggets are so unique. They're like one of a yeah, kind. Like there's no yeah. other fast food chicken nugget that has that same kind of breading. Vibe. Yeah, you're right. You're right. And I'm so, like, excited. How is that going to be spicy? Oh, hold on. Uh, might only be. I don't know if it's when in the I don't know when it will come out in America. What? So they're trialing somewhere else? UK. Dude. Well, they do need some spice in their food. That's for yeah. sure. Yeah. Anyway, I thought that yeah. was really exciting um, because everyone so, loves Wendy's. I I think most yes, people like, like Wendy's that's, spicy nuggets. Yeah, I feel like that's yeah. the only good one. Oh, uh, Clay suggested that oh. we do a top five series. So we do um, yeah. top, top five something every week and hell if you guys want to put a suggestion on what you want the top five convo to be in the comments feel free we'll do whatever you tell us to because we're simp lords for our views oh we have a surprise for next week's pod we should do? we tell them yeah. oh oh yeah yeah yeah, yeah, yeah. should we so, tell them yeah yeah we should we should announce it uh, a week before so they're ready um so we can't guarantee the quality of next week's episode. <laughs> All we can guarantee is that's going to be a fun time. So we're uh, let's just say we both won't be at our normal setups. Yep. I think we kind of tease it, but I don't think we give it all away. Yeah. yeah. I want to kind of make them. I want to force them to kind of learn how to edge a little bit. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Just kind of get them right at the end. Uh, oh, I, uh, I want, uh, you know. Okay. Yeah, sorry. Yeah. Might have been a lot. I'm sorry. I actually um, maybe yeah. maybe yeah yeah yeah. So, so top five. What's the top five this week? Yeah. Um. <laughs> you want to go candy bars? <clears throat> so there's like a f- million different candy bars. Yeah. Top five like chocolate candy. How about that? Chocolate candy. So like M and M's count? Or are we doing candy um, bar? Yeah, M and M's count. Okay, I'm ready. All right, so <clears throat> we gotta. We gotta All right, f- the list has been made. We gotta. We gotta fade this in to be natural and organic. Okay. We want this to be a natural or inorganic experience. So. Yeah. So we talk about chocolate. Even the though we already. Organic. Even though we already made a list, we're gonna pretend like we didn't just edit this in. Man, dude, I I don't really know. I, I'm gonna have to think. So maybe uh. Uh, uh, 
dude, like, what's your... Should we start with the one or the yeah, five? Yeah, we should start with... Well, let's start with the honorable mentions. We'll start with the honorable mention. This one didn't... Clay, I'm going to go ahead and start if you don't mind. This one didn't make my top five, but it has a special place in my heart. Let me give you a little backstory here, Clay. Growing okay. up, I grew in, grew up in Cincinnati, Ohio, all right? Cincinnati, Ohio consists of Skyline Chili. Stop. <laughs> Ew, what? Um, Skyline Chili, right? So... A chili bar. Um... After we ate, for only a couple cents, you were able to get this certain chocolate candy. And um, usually we'd grab one on the way out. And those are York Mints. Do you know York Mints? The York Peppermint Patty? Or the York Mints? Like, York, I don't York, know if York, I've ever... York, I think Peppermint Patty. I, I don't know if it's... York, York, York. <laughs> <laughs> Or, 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 or. <laughs> okay. Um, okay. Yeah, the patty. They, you know, like the, the chocolate so covered the mint full, on the inside, round yeah, in, in a silver package. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I know what a York pepper yeah, the, patty the, is, but the, you said those, mints. Whatever, dude. Whatever. So it threw me off. I didn't know if there was like a different iteration that you were talking about. Yeah, that's my bad. I'll, I'll take the L on that. But yeah, that that's my honorable mention. What about you, brother? <laughs> so I have three honorable mention oh get out of town you crappy um but the first one may strike some controversy uh <sighs> did not make the top five it is uh reese's peanut butter cups wow it's not in my top five be- <laughs> for a reason and we will get there okay but i also had kit kat and the hershey cookies and cream bar those are okay. my honorable mentions they were nice. teetering into the list but it'll make sense why reese's isn't on there hold your horses Okay. Stand yeah. down, Bessie. Stand there. <gasps> oh, no bark. Bessie! Bessie! I said stop it, Bessie. <laughs> <laughs> All right, number five. On Hold the on. List, I'm, we worried my dogs are, I'm worried my dogs are going to bark through this entire thing. So give me just a second. I'm going to. Yeah, go whip their ass real quick. All right. Wait, it seems like they're better. I'm going to just close the door real quick. Yeah. Bessie, stop it. <laughs> damn, that ass. God damn what I would do to that little... Is that a Mario on the floor? I know you can't hear me. Yeah, yeah. Very light. Very light. Oh. What is he doing? What? A- hey, man. I'm back. Welcome back. Yeah, I could hear you the whole time, by the way. Yeah, no, you couldn't. Good. All yeah, right. what'd I say? You said, is there a Mario back there? Oh, you can't hear I me. did say that. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> all, right, all right, all right. number five, what you got? Uh, I got, this might be hot. I, actually, might be a hot take. Um, okay. I got Nutter Butter is my number five. Nutter you, Butter? So, you know those wafered, they're like a wafer. Uh, they're light brown and they're like peanut butter nutty and buddies chocolate. yeah but i think there's two the, the little the little yeah. debbie nutty buddies dude i don't really eat sweets i better make sure dude, that's not a candy a bar thing. wait can there's I butter not... finger oh i'm thinking hold on hold on hold on nutter butter is like a little debbie thing is that what you're talking about no <laughs> nutty buddy <laughs> Yeah, 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 nutty yeah. buddy, yeah, but, yeah, yeah. But, but a nutter butter is a completely different thing. Look up nutter, nutter butter. Nutter butter is the cookie. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All right, nutty I'm... buddy is the little Debbie snack. Yeah, which do... are fire, but do does you... not count. Does not in count. This list. <laughs> okay. Wait. So what? Can... Well, does it? It is chocolate, I guess. We just said chocolate candy, but I don't feel like that's candy. You're right. It's more like a. It's, I don't know if it's a pastry. It's like a, <laughs> yeah, a little Debbie snack. Know. Like, it's kind of its own category, I guess. All right. So, I guess... Looks like the honorable mention's coming in at number five. <laughs> yeah, York Peppermint Patty. Peppermint Patty. <laughs> All right. What's your, your what's, your, what's your number five? My number five is the Ghirardelli Peppermint Bark yep. Squares. Yep. That Every also Christmas, is... Dude. Do they come in, like, bags? Yeah. Yeah, okay. Yeah, little chocolate squares. Yeah, 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 yeah. 
but it's not it's not the squares that are individually wrapped it's the bark no no it's the squares that are individually wrapped okay okay yeah nice. valid valid <laughs> yeah that's definitely candy i thought you were meant like you know how so no, yeah it's yeah, like you almost see like 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 actual... chips sort of yeah, yeah 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 okay no no just the individually wrapped little square pieces right. of chocolate all right kevin's mia so it looks like luna and i are taking over all right, Luna, top five dog treats. What do you think? Any comment? What's your top five? Number five, you probably like a classic milk bone, yeah? Hey, look look over here. Look right here. There you go. Perfect. I know you're just salivating thinking about it. So number five is like milk bones? Okay, Luna. Um, you really like those... Those little chew bones that are like in a twisty. You really like those. Number three, probably say the dried liver. Yeah. Okay, Luna, and your number two, I would say your Wait, number two do... dog treat. Oh, we're doing dumb dog this treats? Is, this is Luna's top five dog treats. Okay. Um, I think we're on number two. Number two, she said, um, see, it is like the, it's like this peanut butter um is, is when i put peanut butter in the ball mm -hmm. and they have to like lick it out those like kind of little balls you like those yeah you seem very into this mm -hmm. she's she's just a little camera shy and then the number one is is the bone marrow bones i know you really enjoy those oh okay in fact we still i think there's one in here maybe two they're all over the house i was gonna tell you my four i didn't my number four is Kit Kat. I know it missed your list. It's it's on mine. Number four, Kit Kat. It's a great it's a great bar, dude. Like, you really it is it's, perfect for sharing. Um, so are you a psycho that bites into it like wrong, or do you like snap each one and eat it individually? I do eat it individually, but I've also so you're a snapper. I have dared to just take a big bite out of all of it, and that is fun. of all like. That is fun. Yeah. I like the individually wrapped yeah. Kit Kats. I think those okay. are solid. It's just, just like that one little. They're light. You know, they're, they're light. They're just chocolate yeah. covered air. You know what I mean? Chocolate covered little like crispy the hollow bits. little. Crispy yeah, the bits. wafer. Sounds like yeah. you're a big wafer guy. Seems like it, man. Anyway, <laughs> uh, that's my number, number four. four. Go ahead. Number four is, uh, is Snickers. You know, a good classic candy bar. It, it's a hearty, man. Uh, I like it. It is very f filling. Like, that is the go-to. Um, I feel like you're doing some sort of physical activity, and you oh, want right. something, like, on your stomach that's not going to, like, push you over the edge. Just, like, some energy. Uh, say you're, like, in between, like, a little double header of a of baseball games. Like, that was mm -hmm. always, I was always hit, hitting the Snickers up at the okay. concession store. Okay. Uh, stickers in the fridge, to be more specific. Nice. Or like a frozen one that thaws out. Yeah. It's a good candy bar. It's got yeah. a little bit of everything. So like you've got caramel, peanuts, nougat. Yeah. Old good. Yeah. All right. Moving What's on to number three. three? <laughs> <laughs> um, number three for me is peanut M and M's. Ooh, it's a good one. Yeah. That I just so snackable. You feel like you're not necessarily yeah. eating super unhealthy because it's peanuts i think it's um, it's a very it's like the perfect ratio of chocolate it, to peanut. it really is yeah. and, and then like my favorite ones are the blue ones which one do really? you like i actually yeah. don't i don't see color so oh okay well no but in all seriousness in all seriousness not that i've never like taken the time to you know i didn't even know they so had like, different I, flavors yeah, the blue one's the best. Oh, I now see that this is probably a joke. I thought you were on board this whole time. No, I <laughs> just... <laughs> woo! Yeah. yeah, the blue one, the candy coating has like a more defined... Yeah. yeah blue nuts? <laughs> nice. Blue nuts are nice. better than red nuts. That's for sure. If you got red nuts, you probably need to go to the doctor. Yeah, but if you got blue nuts, you probably need to go to a girl's... House no, if good. you got blue nuts, you just got to go to the bathroom and rub that one out. You got to take care of business. I agree. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. You can't Moving go back on. to no, I'm just She's kidding. probably the one that gave you the blue nuts. Yeah. You would never give yourself blue nuts. No, but yeah. I mean, we were talking about edging earlier. Anyways. That's true. <laughs> so number, number 
three on my list. Yeah, number three is a uh, is a Twix. Twix, very a good, good little cookie caramel chocolate goodness. Watch out if you have braces though, because they will fuck you up. Yeah, I mean anything with caramel is That's is true. it caramel or caramel? I say caramel, but I've heard caramel. I I say honestly, I may I might even say both. I forget. I think I say both. Like yeah. I'm gonna say a caramel apple. Yeah. But I'm not I'm not gonna say caramel apple, but I'm gonna say a caramel apple and then like I don't know, caramel and candy bars. Who knows? Whenever, whenever I, don't I think know. of it sounds just way way off topic, just real quick. I, I whenever I think of caramel, I think of uh the little lobster guy in Ariel. Ariel boop, 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 boop. I think caramel. I don't know. I, I <laughs> <laughs> and then uh have you seen Harry Potter? Where like there's like have you seen the Harry Potter movies? Not Harry really. Potter. There's yeah, these, I've seen uh, them all. There's like the episode where they're on the bus that can like shrink and move. And there's like yeah, yeah, yeah. two two heads in yeah. the front. Uh, they <laughs> they kind of give me the same vibe. Like the, it's going to be a bumpy ride. And he's ride like, oh, man. Man. <laughs> yeah, sorry. The little shrunken heads. Super tangent. Anyway, moving on. Number two. Number two. Number two. I don't know if anyone really knows of but i love them they're called take fives do you know of those i do know of take fives so they have like pretzels in them i think right yeah yeah Yeah. back in the day they were their own candy bar they're gone now they're not a thing no they were they were their own thing and then reese's got them so now they're take five reese's gotcha but i don't think the the formulas changed except for maybe the peanut butter so like there's five ingredients mm. so there's the pretzel chocolate peanut butter, uh, peanut butter caramel that's why they're called take fours actually <laughs> <laughs> the fifth one's just the other piece maybe it's like whatever wafer they use whatever something. they don't use a wafer it's Is the there pretzel. like oh you're right i don't know anyway um, moving on to your number two no, but I got to figure out what's in it. It's chocolate, oh. peanuts, caramel, peanut butter pretzels. They, We're missing peanuts there. Okay, gotcha. So my number two is peanut M&M's. Oh, hey. So, oh, yeah, here we go. Throwing a little. Yeah, nice. Parodies on the list. Yeah, just peanuts. Peanut M&M's are the best. Uh, it, we could do a whole separate top five M&M flavors, <laughs> uh, but save that one for a different M&M day. M&M flavors? Oh, you mean M&M like types. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I was thinking the yellow <laughs> and red. <laughs> flavor <thing. laughs> Okay, yeah, my got... number one. My okay, number one. Anyway, no, no, what were you going to say? I was yeah. going to be like, yeah, there's blue ones and there's the red. Ones, got the red ones. Um, my number one. Brown, superior. It, <laughs> my number one is is Reese's or Reese's or whatever you want to say. The Reese's peanut butter cups? Yeah. the, the big is... Well, not the jumbo ones, but... Yeah. Actually, actually, I don't really even like any other type of Reese's or Reese's other than the original. Because I, the I original think I, cup. Yeah, I think that like again with like the ratio, I think it's a good ratio for like the OG. I like I like the unwrapped mini ones. Those are pretty oh, good. Actually, and I take that back because I have tried. Have you tried the thins before? No. There's yeah. thin. Yeah. They're like super thin, and they come in like a bag. You like. They're oh, they're like, unwrapped too. Yeah, I think. Oh, yeah. they're really good. I recommend them. Okay, uh, I'll have to try them. I'll have to try them. Maybe they'll I'll... show up on the list. But the reason, the okay. reason, the original Reese's peanut butter cups is not on my list and is an honorable mention, is because my number one is the Take Five Reese's. No, <laughs> I swear. Yo! I swear. That's my number one. You played it off so well. I know. You said, "Have you ever heard of Take Five? I was like, oh, oh, like, "Oh boy, have I heard?" Have I? <laughs> yeah, that's like probably eighty-five percent of the time. That's what I get if I'm getting a candy bar at a gas station. Yeah, we're it's fortunate. Like a take five. At at work, we have so many things like just accessible for. Well, not even they're kind of not free. You're supposed to like donate some money at the end of the week for restock, but they have any food you could think of in there. Including a big like candy bar drawer, and so it's like your own little convenience store. Literally, yeah. But you can just take whatever you want. Um, 
Which, I mean, for the record, I always pay for, like, all the time. Every week I put like money. on the spot or at the end of I, the week? I put money in. Yeah, usually it's... For some you, reason, I don't believe you. Uh, <laughs> I I totally do all the time. So, um, uh, let's see what you're going to do first thing Monday is drop a 20 in there. <laughs> the guilt is going to get to me. Um, but, yeah, there's Reese's in there. It's just little two packs. So, I'll, I'll take yeah. At least once a week, I'll probably grab. But dude, I was super bummed because back when I was like when we were 12, 13, they had their original take five yeah. and I would get them like at the gas station or like at a, uh, the baseball mm-hmm. park. And then they got rid of them like they discontinued. Yeah. And I was super upset. And then, the you know, a few years ago when the take five Reese's came back around, that's that's been number one since ever since I saw them again. Mm hmm. But dude, there's so many iterations of Reese's. Like, cause yeah. you have those the big giant cups. Yeah. Then you have are... like crunch bars. Have you seen the the bars? Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Yep. Yeah. Those Reese's pieces. Those Reese's pieces. Reese's. Whatever. Whatever you want. Reese's. I've always. It's Reese's. I've always it's said Reese. Re- I've literally always said Reese, and then people look at me weird. I'm like Reese, what's a fucking Reese? I no, like, I okay, but like now, like whenever I first understood that it's Reese's, like obviously that is how correct. it is read, like how it's spelled, but yeah. it's Reese's, you know, <laughs> Reese's Pieces. I know it's Reese's Pieces, but it's Reese's Pieces, you know. Yeah, yeah. We got to stop saying it because now it's like getting mm-hmm. to the point where the more you say it, the weirder it sounds. Yeah. Have you ever had that happen? Uh, yep. Yep, and then you yeah, like, like question the, that it's even a word. <laughs> yeah, like you're saying it, yeah. you're like, you're like chair, chair, it's the chair, chair, chair? yeah, <laughs> like but, phlebotomist. <laughs> but you can't. You gotta make sure not to eat too many uh, Reese's, especially the, the Reese's pieces, because then you end up with Reese's feces, which is never good at all. All right, guys. Thanks for watching. Um, <laughs> we, do need to, we do need to pinch it off, though. Why? Because you got to go make some Reese's feces? Yeah. No, uh, just because it's, it's approaching the time and, you know. It's time to end this podcast. <laughs> yeah. Do you want to pinch it off? Let's pinch it off. Uh, give us yeah. some uh, top five ideas down in the the comments. You can get it doesn't have to be food related, even though that's all we've done so far. Uh, yeah, it doesn't it have top to be five, top five anything. Top, top five, five emotions. childhood video games emotions. <laughs> so, top yeah. five body parts. Um, yeah. Top five birth control. Top five anything literally. Top yeah. five trees. Uh, yeah, yeah. So yeah. Get get creative. Top you know. five, top fives, you know? Yeah. <laughs> I'll be coming in like, you know, I've done my research and Dr. R.B. Bazankowitz is really good with the patients, you know? Yeah, but then <laughs> I can't do it. I was going to be like, then you got top five, Dirk or Dirk. Cut that one. Cut that shit. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All, right, All right, guys. Right, guys. Uh, it's yeah. just. We'll see you next time. We were literally, uh, we were just fine until the last we were couple just, seconds. We were so close. We were so close. But uh, stay tuned. We got big surprise next week. Yep. It's going to be really fun next week. I think you guys are going to love it. Anyway, pinching it off. Until next week, we'll see you. Hey, Clay. Clay. I just started back the recording because I forgot to make the outro. Yeah, we're still on the screen, dipshit. Oh, shit. It's still recording. We're on the screen. <laughs> oh, right. Fuck. <laughs> Yo, it's still recording. <laughs> oh, we oh, butchered. no. Butchered that one.